When it comes to sort of crisis points in life or flashpoints, you get people who step up, people who stand out, people who talk out. And Gary Neville is leading the way when it comes to the European Super League, the reaction to the European Super League and saying what we're all feeling. And on Monday Night Football, for the first real time, and I've waited a long time for this and you've waited a long time for this, he spoke out about the Glazers. He didn't just speak out about the Glazers. He loaded two shells into a shotgun and shot them right in the goddamn face where they deserve to be made. It's a bit harsh to say that, but I don't think it is. But I don't really care. And I want to show you what Gary Neville had to say if you hadn't seen it on, on Monday Night Football tonight. Give my reaction to those thoughts because for me, it's one of the most important messages that any ex-United pundit, any pundit has said about Manchester United in years because since 2004, we've been opposing the Glazers' ownership of United. Since 2005, we've been opposing the actual ownership of United by the Glazers. For the last 16 years, we've been shouting that. And for the last seven or eight years, I've had to try to explain to people in dumb arguments about how it doesn't matter that we're signing players like Di Maria and spending money and how bad the owners of United are. And now that it's affecting everybody in the Premier League, people are starting to realise that. And I'm happy that people are realising. I'm unhappy with the situation of it. But I'm going to run through what Gary Neville had to say on Monday Night Football. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. But let's run through what Gary had to say. And I want to say a few things about it. The first thing that Gary said, which I definitely felt this morning, um, it's not actually out yet, so I can't really show you the video, but Gary was saying how it was only when he saw Joel Glazer's name on the document on Manchester United's statement on the website that he started to get worried. Because for me last night, I was looking at all of this as um, a, a power play. I think I said it in my video this morning, that it could potentially just be the clubs just trying to posture and gain power over UEFA, sorry, in negotiations. But as soon as that statement came out, when all 12 clubs announced they were going to be involved in it, when United put their name to it, when Joel Glazer put his name to it, that's when it got real. Because as Gary pointed out, when the Glazers bought United, they did it bit by bit, getting the shares, getting the ownership until they got the big ownership shares off McManus. And it was opposed heavily. But the Glazers didn't go away. They just ignored questions that were asked to them in the press, avoided questions. And did it regardless of how much backlash there was. And that has to be a worry for everybody because if they did it with United, hell, why can't they do it with the Super League? And I can see a lot of parallels between what's going on with this European Super League and how United seem to be at the centre of it all because JP Morgan is the bank that is going to be given the 23-year loan with a very low interest rate. JP Morgan, the same investment bank that funded the Glazers, purchase of United on a leverage loan deal. And who was the accountant, the investment banker, sorry, that was working there? Oh, that was Ed Woodward. And he's a centerpiece of all of this. There's unfortunate parallels I'm seeing between the two. And I can understand why Gary's getting more worried. But this is the point. Or just, just watch this from Gary on the Glazers. I feel slightly complicit. I've stayed pretty quiet in terms of the Glazer family over the years. Stayed pretty quiet because I've thought when the club were taken over as a PLC, that you knew it could be bought and it was out of the control of players, of fans, of everybody. I believe in a free market, generally in life. And I've always thought, what's the answer to the Glazers? Who takes them out? Russia, China, state money for the two or three billion quid it would need. And I've stayed quiet on, a, on the basis that it's still Manchester United. I can still go and watch the lads play. I can be happy and I can be sad. I'm still watching football in this country. If they take dividends out, all right, it's dividends. I can live with it slightly. But what I can't live with is attacking every single football fan in this country. They have stepped over the mark. They are scavengers. And they need booting out of this football club and they need booting out of this country. And we have got to come together now. It, it might be too late. There'll be people at Manchester United, fans who were arguing 15 years ago, who will say, it's too late. It's never too late. We have got to stop this. It is absolutely critical we do. A lot of us have been waiting a long, long time to hear someone like Gary Neville, whose voice is so respected, speak out so vehemently against the fucking Glazers because they are scavengers. They need to be booted out. 
not only of Manchester United, but of the ownership of any club, anywhere. Because I'm sure Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans, if you're watching this, other than the fact that you won the NFL last year, you will argue the same thing. But just to hear Gary speak like that, speak like I've been speaking, like you've been speaking for, for years now, that's a big watershed moment that we cannot let go of, that we cannot just let slide under. No matter what happens from this point onwards, say it all gets put back in the bottle, oh, let's forget about it. It doesn't matter. Gary has finally said what he really feels about the Glazers. And this is something that I think has always been in there. It's always been there, but he's kept it professionally under the surface. Not anymore. The cat's out of the bag. Gary hates the Glazers just as much as we do. And they are scavengers. And they need to be booted out because they are doing nothing but sucking the life out of Manchester United is what they've been doing for the last 16 years. It's why we all fucking hate the Glazers. It's not because we're deluded. Oh, look how spoiled United fans are. X, Y, Z. No, it's just that when you go from being a debt-free club that is owned and run by its own finances to a club which is saddled with debt that isn't ours, that is our owner's debt, that's been put onto our club because a bank decided to fund their purchase based on their assets in America. And we're supposed to be happy about that. No, we're not. The only reason we had success post that is because Fergie is a goddamn genius. If it wasn't for Fergie, we would have been in the gutter a long, lot earlier than we are, have been in the last seven or eight years because we have been in the gutter. No Champions Leagues, no Premier Leagues. We're not the club we once were. Hell, let's hope we can get back there. But this European Super League is going to... It's made me sad. I've, I'm, I'm making an intro for a video, a bigger video I'm doing on this whole situation. And just looking back at 68, at 99, at 2008, and are we ever going to have moments like that again as fans? Those pure, pure European glory moments. They're just some of the most spine-tingling moments and memories that I've got as a United fan or in Europe. And I'm not sure we're ever going to have them again. But... I reiterate there, just to hear, hear Gary Neville speaking out so passionately and he's not sitting on the fence. He's pointing the finger at the blood-sucking, greedy, scavenger glazers that need to be booted out. And a lot of you, as he, as he correctly says it, a lot of you say, well, Gary, why weren't you saying this fucking 15 years ago, mate? Why weren't you not? Why have you stayed quiet for so long? He admits that he's probably been complicit in all of this. And, you know, look, I've done it before. I've admitted my mistakes. And if you can admit your mistakes, you can learn from them, you can move on. Maybe Gary can now spearhead. He won't spearhead some sort of movement. He works for fucking Sky. Who am I kidding? But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be excited about the idea that the fingers are really, really... It's not just fingers pointing at the Glazers anymore. It's pitchforks from the, from every football fan in the UK. I, I want to apologise to every football fan in the UK because the Glazers are now going to be affecting you all in the same way that they've been affecting us for so, so long. And I wouldn't have wished that on anybody. Uh, but that's the it's the situation that they're in when you, as I said it in a video, when you let the wolves in the door, at some point they're going to eat you. And we let the wolves in the door in 2005 when we sold our club on a loan deal to American owners. It took a little bit longer than maybe a lot of us would have predicted to reach this situation, but it's reached that situation. But as much as it's doom and gloom in that sense, Gary continued to go on to say a few things that he wants to see, what well, he hopes to see happen in the fallout to all of this. It's difficult not to get emotional and feel sick. But honestly, you've got a right to your MPs, you've got a, your local football clubs, you've got a right, everybody's got to come behind this. Pundits for BBC, ITV, BT Sport, forget allegiances, forget who you support. We have got to come together to stop this proposal. This is an attack on everything that's been important in this country. Football has helped in the last 10 months in the midst of a pandemic more than ever keep people going. And they're trying to take it away from us. I really hope that these words don't just fall on deaf ears. Right now, they're certainly not falling on deaf ears because everybody is listening. Because this has been an attack on the institution that is football in the United Kingdom. For so many people... It means so much more than just watching blokes kick a ball around a pitch for 90 minutes. It's 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 our boyhoods. It's what we grew up. It's what we want to pass down to our kids. It's memories we've got of our granddads, our dads, our uncles, our aunties, 
our families, our friends, everything. It's what you've grown up doing. Being on the pitch at the at the park when it for like nine hours on a Saturday when you were a kid. To go into Paris to watch United knock PSG out as a United fan and getting absolutely spangled in a bar in Paris and having a great night out. There's so many memories that I've got from football that that it is hard not to get emotional and sad about it because it, I really feel that I will not have the same connection with football and Manchester United if this Super League goes through. There will I, I will I will lose something. I will lose a connection and I don't want that to happen. And if there is anything that we can do, let's do it. So let me know in the comments, you know, it's not let me know in the comments. Like, I mean, I, I've said it on Twitter there. So I've got a season ticket, been a season ticket holder at United now since, what, 2013. I'm not going to renew this year. Uh, I'm going to, United are giving people the option to pause their season ticket for a year. I'm taking that option. It'll probably mean that I lose my seat. I don't care. I'd rather do that than give United the money. Whatever we can do at this point, we have to. And I hope that people can all come together. This is going to be that a time where when United fans and Liverpool fans and Chelsea and City and Arsenal and Spurs and everybody can all unite behind one banner for one goal and one aim, and that is to stop the Europa, Euro, European Super League from coming into existence. I don't know whether we've got the power to do that, and my gut tells me we don't. And that scares me, but it doesn't mean that you, you won't try. But to hear Gary speak so passionately and powerfully against the Glazers, thank you to Gary for that. I wish it was earlier, just like you said in the video there, but it's better late than never. So let's just make sure that we, after these the, the next few days when you know it's going to be really loud and all about the Euro European Super League, just don't let it die down when, when these days are passed. Keep it up. And if there's anything you think that I should be doing at United People's TV, let me know. You can send me a tweet at Sam Peoples underscore on Twitter, at United People's TV on Twitter. We'll leave a comment on here. But just to hear Gary speak, how basically I felt about the Glazers. I know the circumstances aren't right, but I was glad to see it, nevertheless. Let me know what your reaction is to Gary's comments about the Glazers in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And over this week, I'm going to have plenty more videos about this European Super League, about Manchester United, hopefully an interview or two as well. So make sure you subscribe. Until next time though, take it easy.